Materials in the real world have all kinds of different dimensions. It may not precisely line up with the dimensions that we've put into a digital model in the computer. For example, this plywood should be 0.125 inches, but when I measure it with my digital calipers, I get different measurements depending on which part I measure. We want to find a representative thickness of this plywood. That way all our tabs and slots work with the laser cutter. So measure with your calipers and then write down the different measurements. If you're working with a CNC, it's important to find the thickest part so you don't have any tool collisions. But with a laser cutter, we can try to find a representative measurement so we have the most uniform measurement of the piece. Once you have the measurement, then you can go into Fusion 360 and change your user parameters. Here I have a simple laser cut box, and now I want to update the plywood thickness user parameter. If I go to the modify menu and click on change parameters, I can see that my original plywood height is an eighth of an inch. I measured 0.121 inches. I can change that, and then the model will update automatically. We can inspect that and see. So if I click on this measurement, I can see that this is 3.073 millimeters. We can also see that update in a more dramatic fashion if we, instead of cutting this out of eighth inch plywood, we can cut it out of quarter inch plywood. So let's modify the user parameters and type in a quarter of an inch. Now we can see the model has dramatically increased in size. But note that the depth of these tabs automatically increased by the material thickness. This is the power of using user parameters to define your model so things will change and update automatically. Let's look at a more complex model. Here we have a cell phone stand with all the parts laid out. Let's go ahead and change the user parameters. First, we can change the user parameter of the plywood dimension from an eighth of an inch to the 0.121 that we have. And at first glance, everything seems to be okay. Everything seems to have updated okay on our tool layout. But whenever you're doing this, it's a good idea to dramatically increase the dimensions to see if there's any problems with your model. Watch what happens if I increase it to a quarter of an inch. So now I'll increase this to a quarter of an inch. And it looks like everything went fine, but what's going on right here? Here we have this tab poking through. This can happen very easily with your model if you're not paying attention as you build and design your sketches. You always need to use your user parameter so that they work when you're modeling your piece. So for example, if I go into this component of the tray and then I edit this extrude command, we'll notice that the distance is 3.175 millimeters. Yes, that is one eighth of an inch in millimeters, we don't want the distance to be an actual distance. We want it to reference the user parameter. So if I type ply here instead, now it updates with the user parameter and my model is the correct size. So it's always a good idea to update your parameters in a dramatic way, even if you don't plan to actually make this as a quarter inch thick. That way you can see if there's any problems with your model. So let's go ahead and change that back to our actual dimensions. And now everything updates and we have our model ready to go. So user parameters are really important to use, but you gotta make sure that you have them in your design so that everything updates correctly as you change your parameters. And then you always want to measure your material before you take it to your output of choice, whether that's laser cutting, CNC, water jet, or some other process.